Alright, Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost. I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory be to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakhak, Wadash. And I wanna say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect out there teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth and in sincere hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. And boy, it's been a morning today. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm out, you know, I'm. I live over here, I live in London, but I, I work outside of London, as you can see I'm in a bit of the countryside, sort of, but um, you know, it's been a hell of a morning, um, I was just meditating upon that scripture, about how they should have wear, you know, they shall wear out the saints of the Most High, you know, the scripture speak about how the saints, which who are the saints, the saints of the Israelites, you know, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, you know, the Lord said that, they, you know, they shall wear out the saints of the Most High, so we're worn, we're worn out, Arkim, you know, but you know, in the midst of being worn out, hey, the Lord is hey balance. The Lord is actually showing us great signs of things that are that are happening. You know, the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. You know, and earlier on, I was listening to um, Elder Apostle Rakar. You know, he was, you know, pretty much talking about the vision, man. You know, and the scriptures clearly say where there is no vision, the people perish. You know, a lot of people, you know, pretty much, you know, we got bug outs, fallouts, go back into the world, is because they lack vision, man. They, the Lord hasn't blessed them with the uh, the spiritual. You know, uh, uh, foresight to be able to see what's really coming. You know, that's why the scriptures speak about faith being mixed with the word. Hebrews 4 and 2 uh, speaks about that. You know, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Now, I just seen, you know, um, so if this, if this word is not mixed with faith, it's not going to profit you. All right? Now, I just seen a spiritual sign this morning, because, like I said, it's been a hell of a morning. I'm doing a couple of jobs, and one of my jobs, I left. Um, I provide a certain service. I ain't gonna tell you what exactly what I do, but I provide a certain service. You know, um, you know, pretty much up and down the country. You know, for certain for certain businesses. You know, certain clients. Um, and I had left one of my tools. <laughs> you know, at, um, at one of my jobs. You know that I'm I'm coming from at the moment. And um, this is an important tool that I need in in order to provide this service. You know, for my particular job. And as I was driving back there, I was praying to the Lord. I said, Lord, please have my tool still be there. Because it was pretty much left out on show for everyone to see. And I'm talking about, you see how much cars are going to and fro on this very road. There's a lot of people, a lot of foot flow. So any any one of these you know, these builders and these builders' vans could have taken up that tool or whatever. They could have just put it in their van. I was thinking all kinds of things. I was like, oh, I'm going to ask if it's gone. Anyhow, my tool's gone. I'm going to ask them to pull up, pull up the, the CCTV camera. You know, uh, in the office and see if, you know, track the plate number down, see who's taking this tool or whatever. I was thinking all kinds of shit. But then, you know, the spirit of the Lord had it where I came back to the to the job and my tool was right there in broad daylight, just standing there waiting for me to pick it back up, you know, leaned up against the window. So I said to myself, you know what, bro? I said, you know what? That, the spirit of the Lord's got us, man. Now you might say, oh, this brother's going, you know, what's that got to do with the scriptures? Well, the scripture says that man's goings are of the Lord. How then shall a man understand his own way? Like the Lord is, has got his elect. The Lord has always got us protected, man. You know, the Lord could have had, you know, could have had demons that might have, you know, stumbled across that particular job that I left my tool at, but blinded their, you know, blinded uh, or put, put a force field around my tool so that they didn't even see it, you know? Or they might have seen it and the Lord could just had an angel that changed their mind. Don't even, don't even think about taking that tool. That belongs to, you know, uh, uh, you know someone that's doing the work. You know, like myself, Lord willing, I'm of the elect. Now, why am I saying that? I'm saying that to say this. Look, especially in the times where, could you see the food shortages are about to happen? The Lord said that famines, you know, pestilences are going to come upon us. You know, and all of that, earthquakes in diverse places, all of these plagues are about to hit this place. The Lord is going to have his elect. The Lord is going to protect us, man. You know, like, didn't the Lord say, you know, um, at destruction, at famine, thou shalt laugh? Um, oh, the Lord said in Isaiah 65 and 13, you know, behold, behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. You know, so the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna intercede. He's gonna, you know, pretty much, uh, 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 it's like a divine intervention is gonna happen for His elect. You know, that's what I mean. That's what I, you know, when I'm saying I'm going into this, the Lord is gonna have divine intervention, you know, happen for His elect, man. The Lord is gonna have us, man. No matter what situations we're placed in, these many type of scenarios that can cause us. You know, uh, um, you know, a little bit of aggravation on our in our daily walk in this truth, whether we're on our job or whether we, you know, we're at home or 
as soon as we leave the house and whatever. That's why we pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's another thing, like Elder Apostle Rakar, he always says, keep your medicine strong, Arkim. Meaning what? Pray. Like the scripture says, the Apostle Paul said, pray without ceasing. You know, so we got to keep our medicine strong. Stay connected to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, in our daily walk, man. It's essential, you know, for our survival in this ministry, in this truth. Because there's a lot of demons out here. You know, that I really want to fuck with us And, you know, the reason why I, I even left my tool there in the first place Is because, my, you know, my boss at work You know, he pretty much did some fucking, you know he, You know, he's a bit of a demon from time to time Satan hops on him from time to time And fucked up my whole routine So when my routine gets messed up You know, that's, you know Which I, you know I got no one to blame but myself Really, ultimately, because I should really be more circumspect Which, that's a lesson Because anything that happens to us, Arkham, is always a lesson you know, pay attention to the details Be circumspect Remember, man, like You know, and not only that We're dealing with a lot of things mentally You know, that we have to deal with You know, day by day You know, things that are on our minds Things that are happening In the background You know, in, in, our, in our subconscious As well as in our conscious That we're dealing with On a daily basis So there's a lot of things to carry But within the midst of all of that chaos We have to remember To keep our head on Screwed on tight You know, basically like you know, be circumspect Like the Apostle Paul said See then that you walk circumspectly As wise and not as fools Redeeming the time Because the days are evil Now, I could sit here and say Well, you know, it's this man's fault It's my fault But hey, maybe the Lord had me do that Had me make a detour You know, or the Lord did have me make a detour To boost my faith And I'm going to tell you why Because as I was leaving that particular site um, Where my tool Where I, ret where I ret retrieved my tool from As I was coming out of that site I see a car drive past me A white it's like a white, like a jeep And the, the plate number was 144 And I said, well that's spiritual And it's good to speak about the 144,000 The elect, right, the tabernacle of David Man, and Lord willing, you know, we're in that number You know, the Lord is going to save his elect We're in that time, the Lord is showing us spiritual signs And that's another reason why we've got to be circumspect too Because the Lord, here it is The Lord's always, you know, showing you spiritual signs But if you ain't watching, you know, and, and, and keeping You know, basically keeping your medicine strong You know, and being uh, spiritually aware or what's going on around you Then you're going to miss these things You know We can miss these things Man being too caught up With the affairs of this life Remember the scripture says No man that warreth Entangleth with the affairs of this life Right No man that warreth so we're, so we're in a spiritual war man You know Things that we can't even see That we're having to deal with On a daily basis That are fucking with us What does uh, the scripture say In Ephesians 6 and 12 For we wrestle not against Flesh and blood But against spirits Yes yeah, spirits jumping on your boss at work Spirits jumping on your woman Spirits jumping on your children Spirits jumping on You know uh, 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 You know People in a supermarket You might be going to get some groceries And they're just being outright demons to you So on and so forth yeah, Anything Anything that can, can go wrong You know Will go wrong You know But in the midst of it going wrong The Lord is testing our faith That when he gets us through these These, these uh, circumstances that we're dealing with you know, being you know, being hard done by by these people. Just remember, the Lord said, "As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent." So the Lord is is is, is doing this as a process to help build us up, to sharpen us. Yeah, we might run into inconveniences. Hey, nothing. Hey, man, nothing is supposed to really be comfortable in these last days. Remember, Esau is ramping things up on the left hand side. Remember, um, you know, they just had Elon Musk. He just pushed out what. They just pushed out in mainstream media the first human to receive that implant openly now. And they're saying that they, this person's in recovery, you know, and they, they, they're talking about their, their miracles on the left-hand side through their technology, right? They are the spirits of devil, devils working miracles, like the scriptures say, right? Uh, Revelation 16 and, uh, and, and 14, or is it 12, right? But I know it's in Revelation 16, right? They are the spirits of devils working miracles. This devil's working miracles on the left-hand side. They're telling you that to receive this implant, you know, it's going to be able, it's going to enable people to be able to walk again that were, you know, paralyzed from the waist down and just by thinking it, it's going to be able to move their limbs. And I mean, this man, like a, a, like a mad scientist that he is, he's pushing out them, them miracles on the left hand side, right? But again, balance. If, the, if Esau is turning things up on the left hand side, what do you think is going to be happening on the right hand side, right? You gotta understand that hey, everything's spiritual. The false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So the Lord is turning things up spiritually on the right hand side. And that is where we gotta remain spiritual, man. Alright? And, and pray to you how about Shemi Shai and know that the Lord, ultimately the Lord is in control no matter what happens out here. The Lord has got everything, man. Okay? The Lord, because there's gonna come a time where our faith is gonna be tested. And you know, all the hell and, and the, 
you know, how can I how can I say the um, the opposite of complacency, the the hard type of scenarios, the um, uncomfortable scenarios that we were placed in, it's going to be of a great benefit to us in these last days because this is helping to help uh, to to basically make us hate this world even more when we go through these hardships, and that's a that's going to be of great you know a, a benefit to us in the end, you know, because the, you know the, the the suffering and the hardship. The, didn't the Lord say he that who he soever, whosoever shall endure until the end. The same shall be saved, right? Whosoever endures unto the end. Remember, the scripture says, "Much are uh, many are called, but few are chosen." And only the chosen are going to be able to endure unto the end. You know, when the heat turned up to the maximum, when Esau's pushing out that chip. You know, got them troops out there over there in America. You see the fucking you know Republicans and the Democrats split right down the middle, and that's that that spirit of division. The Lord said that no kingdom divided shall be able to stand. All right. The National Guard, all right? You've got the Supreme Court, you know, uh, 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 pretty much, you know, uh, ordering uh, the, the federal troops them to, to, to cut down, you know, the, the razor wire. But then you got like, uh, which Governor Abbott over there in Texas, you got over there at Eagle Pass, you know, he ain't nothing but a fucking insider like Elder Apostle Taha has been saying. But nonetheless, you know, the Lord said he will cause every work in Egypt to err. That's what Isaiah 19 and 14, I believe. So the Lord is causing a great... You know, situations of great confusion out here And if your eyes ain't open to see what's really going on You're going to get caught up in the midst of that confusion Alright Remember the, 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 the Apostle Paul said But ye brethren are not in darkness That that day should overtake you as a thief You know we are the children of the light And the children of the day We're not of, of the night You know so we got You know the scripture says Ye are the light of the of the world The city that is set on a hill cannot be hid So we've got the light Arkham You know we ain't supposed to be shrouded in darkness You know the Lord said that gross darkness shall cover the earth. Yeah, and gross darkness to people. But we are not in darkness. The Lord has given us the light to see. Okay? The Lord has given us the, the ability to be able to spiritually decode what's going on out here through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Why? Because it's all falling in, 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 it's all aligning with biblical prophecy. The scriptures say the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And the visions are these prophecies, man. So we're seeing these things pop off left, right, and center. And that should help boost our faith, man. But guys get weak because they ain't, you know, they ain't, they ain't watching for the science and the biblical prophecies that are playing forth in this earth in these last days. Remember, the scripture said that Esau is the end of the world. What we're seeing right now is a downfall of Esau's kingdom. Right? The scripture, the Lord said in a Sirach 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And who is this other? Remember, uh, Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that transition is, is slowly taking place. Well, you really can't even say it's slow, because remember, the Lord said he's speeding up the time. Right? For the elect state, uh, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord is speeding up the time for the elect's sake, man. Alright? Just, you know, fucking demon, man. He was all the way in the left lane. He just swings into... See what I'm saying about these demons? That's why we got to be circumspect, man. These, these demons, you know, people jump... Satan jumping on these people, driving like fucking maniacs, man. Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalak Rayam. Wa Ashim. Right? Wa Mashapatyam. Wa Abajam. Right? Oh, this fucking demon in this stupid-ass mini. Hey, may the Lord strike this fucker down, man. See the... These people, man, they got fucking spirits on them. Arkin, we gotta stay prayed up. You know, we gotta pray to your help, Hashem Yahweh Shai. When you get that, you get from one place to another, from A, from point A to point B safely, man. You know, safe and sound, because ultimately these people got spirits on them, messing with them. You know, Satan might jump on a on a demon to, to try and mess with your family. I've I've dealt with that. You know, a specific demon where you live at, your neighbors. Or whatever, just being demons, you know, playing loud music all through the night, or or, or a demon, you know, that's just causing you uh, harass, harassing you as soon as you leave your your home, or whatever, you know, uh, uh, tailor made demons, man. These people got spirits on them, man. And the Lord is gonna do away with all this confusion. The Lord is gonna do away with all these sodomites, all these vile affections, you know, uh, 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 these hey, hey like uh, Lot, you know, just like the Lord delivered just Lot. Remember, it's good to say that that righteous man. In seeing and hearing Vexed his righteous soul From day to day With their unlawful deeds So Lot was delivered man From all that filth And acts of sodomy He was delivered from all of that Alright The Lord brought him out of that filth So what's the Lord going to do For his elect in this time He's going to deliver us out of this man And there ain't a shadow of a doubt In my mind That doesn't That, that don't believe that I believe that the Lord Is going to deliver us 
You know, and I pray that I'm of the uh, that that number. I believe that the Lord is coming to deliver the, His elect. Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Matthew chapter 24 verse 30 on down. That's the time that we're coming into that great deliverance, man. And if you don't believe it, to hell with you, man. Hey, for what if some shall not believe? Shall, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid. Let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, man. So we're at the end of this, man. So we got to stay prayed up. All right. Remember, the Lord's got us. Every step that we take, the Lord is always guiding us through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so stay up, stay strong, stay prayed up, and stay circumspect in these last days. And remember, the Lord is always going to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, intercede for us, man, on our behalf. He's got his elect, man. All right, he has his continual oversight over his elect. Right, uh, Romans 11 and 7 what, what then Israel have not obtained that which you seek it for But the election have obtained it And the rest were blinded man The election, it's all about the election Fuck the unbelievers Till the next time, Shalom